This being the man's head there, and this being the jaw. Sorry, the side of the jaw. That's the weakest point, even in a sumo wrestler, among the strongest people on earth. Don't go for his groin. Those guys, you can kick them in the groin, they'll laugh. This is the point for everybody. There. So in other words, it travels like that from there. It's like you're not trying, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. Yeah. It comes wow. around through the back. Oh. So basically it's here. That point. There the nerve centers are. No matter how big or strong you are, he's down. I spent 10 years in the back, actually 11 years in the back. It's called Barclays Bank in those days. But in the beginning, my first thing I ever did was to buy a trumpet. Armstrong and those sort of people. Yes. And they went and took took lessons in trumpet, and then played weekends eventually with um, uh, people who wanted me to do that at nightclubs at uh, um, weddings. You in band, and they, yeah. 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 But uh, you know, it wasn't that great. I just loved it. Yeah. And along with that was the bodybuilding. And then a guy from school who was quite a scrawny fella, Cyril Vickers. Yeah. One day comes to me. He says, we, we're having a practice. He was a drummer as well. And he, and he said to me, come out on the lawn. And he says, you try and throw me. I said, what, what do you mean? He says, no, like a wrestler, try and throw me. So I battled. He just stood there. I couldn't move him. And then um, he said, you, could I try on you? And I was much bigger than him. Yeah. He said, I just went sailing over the top, bang onto the grass. <laughs> and then he said, all right, hold me down now. So I, I thought I was holding him down. And he just got out. And I said, wow. <laughs> then I held him down, he's like wiggled his way out and he stood up. I said, what's that? He said, Judah. Mm. I do Judah. I said, man, I want to do Judah <laughs> very badly. <Yeah. laughs> Something fairly substantial to pull you away from Judo and go, what was it that sparked your interest in karate? I broke my leg caught it in the mat and I've got a crack in the, uh, I think it was the fibula. Yeah. So as now I had a little bit of a plaster on sitting at home and Jimmy White, that same instructor, came to visit me. And he was sitting outside and threw this book in my lap. I looked there and I, what's that? He says, this is a present for you, Stan. I know you're gonna like this. And the cover said, K-A-R-A-T-E. I thought it was some kind of vegetable book, carrots, I don't know what, you yeah, know. Yeah, good health. So I open it up, and the pictures of these flying kicks and people breaking tiles and... Yes. Wow, well I've just sold. Yeah. And that was Nishiyama Sensei's book. A very famous instructor who went to America and he really spread karate, passed away now, but wow, what a man. Yeah. And I studied from that book. Uh, my foot was up, it said in there, the karate man never stops training. So I had the foot up plaster, and yeah, I was doing odd sort of funny moves for the <laughs> thing, I was good. And uh, when I came out of plaster, I put a funny thing on the tree. They call them a mucky warrior today. Yes. But it was like a very lot of rope and that. And I kept hitting this thing. And um, some guy on a holiday, when I was on holiday in Durban, from a ship, said he was a karate man. He said, no, what you do is do that on the tree. Then you hit it until you bleed. Mm. And I said, and then what? He said, put in salt. And then you go back and you hit it again. And he says, and eventually you'll have calluses, yeah. And I said, wow, that's what I want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These calluses are going to solve everything, you know. Yeah. So, steel hands of steel. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So I did this. By the second day, it was like skin right off both hands, yeah, both knuckles, yeah. Yeah. And, um, and he told you to stop at the first layer, but you said, no, I'll keep going, <laughs> I keep going to the phone. <laughs> He's lucky he wasn't around yeah. <laughs> at the time. He'd gone already back to America, I think he came from. But anyway, so now I get the salt. And I mean, you know, you should, if you're going to do that, yeah. put a bit of salt in some hot water and bathe it, yeah. not me. Now I got the salt cellar and did this kind of thing. Yeah, table salt. I think. 
Let's then I go the see. next day and I was hitting it like that. I was so, I was so sore. The guy's back on the ship laughing his head off. I took the fire <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs>